Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Istanbul on Friday. The meeting comes at a time when Moscow has been escalating its offensive and Kiev is facing difficulties on the front lines. NATO member Turkey supports Ukraine's territorial integrity but at the same time has always maintained cordial relations with Russia and has also acted as a sponsor of the Black Sea deal in the past. While Ukraine is seeking to show up support from its NATO allies, the talks between Zelensky and Erdogan focused on creating a peace formula aimed at ending the long-standing war in Ukraine. The two leaders discussed developments in the war, shipping security in the Black Sea, including the defunct grain deal and defense industry cooperation. After the meeting, Erdogan said that Turkey is ready to hold a summit in Switzerland between Ukraine and Russia to end the war. Erdogan also said Turkey would strongly contribute to the reconstruction of Ukraine once the war ends. Responding to Erdogan, Zelensky thanked his Turkish counterpart for supporting the country's peace formula and urged him to personally attend the summit. However, he went on to say that Russian representatives were not going to be invited to the summit. We do not see Russian representatives at the summit. We do not see how we can invite people that block, destroy and kill everything. We want results. We want just peace. Just peace for Ukraine. So first civilized countries of the world will develop a detailed plan, achieve a result and then involve representatives from Russia, those who are ready for just peace. Last week, Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan met with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov and said that it was time for Ukraine and Russia to start ceasefire talks, but added that this must not mean the recognition of Russia's occupation. Apart from true Kyiv, other countries are also trying to broker a deal between Russia and Ukraine to stop the war. This includes China and Switzerland. According to a report filed by South China Morning Post, China and Switzerland are pushing for Russia to be invited to the talks being held in Switzerland. The report suggests Beijing and Bern share a pragmatic view on how to reach peace in the war. Both Switzerland and China believe that the broader the talks are in terms of attendance, the more productive they will be with Beijing's participation seen as a crucial or as crucial to attracting other capitals. From China. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.